Mark Vergeer, is that how you pronounce it? I'm going to guess it is. Has turned me to the dark side. But wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's a little known fact that I'm a big fan of Gran Turismo. I've got pretty much every version of it from Gran Turismo 1 all the way up to Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. In fact, the only one I haven't got is Gran Turismo 4 Prologue. All the rest. Anyway, so I'm a big PlayStation fan and I've always totally resisted buying any kind of Xbox. Um, I loathe Microsoft. Totally, totally, always swore never ever would I buy one of their consoles. You know, uh, got everything else, but none of theirs. So, yesterday I was watching Mark's channel a couple of videos on there. He has dropped two absolutely awesome videos of Project Gotham Racing and Project Gotham Racing 2. Uh, it's, I've heard of the games, but I've never really paid them any notice, never looked at videos of them. And I was gobsmacked. I thought, yeah, that's bloody awesome, basically. So, uh, this morning, my wonderful, wonderful wife, Andrea, got up at half past six in the morning with me. Now, weekends uh, sacrosanct for Andrea. You know, she works, she works very hard all week, and at the weekend she likes a lie-in. So getting up at half past six in the morning was a big deal. And we went to a car boot sale. Uh, I haven't been to a car boot sale in years. Um, where I come from originally, Milton Keynes, car boot sales there are truly crap. Um, they're just all market traders. There's no... It's not car boots, you know. It's not people selling off their old junk. It's it's all traders. And I just gave up with all that. So we went to this car boot sale in a place... It's in a field in between um, a place called Old Coats and... What's it? Trying to remember. Blythe. Yes, between Old Coats and Blythe. I'm not sure if that's in North Nottinghamshire or South Yorkshire, but anyway, a couple of little villages just near where I live. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant car boot sale. Absolutely huge. Best one I've ever been to. Um, and the great thing was consoles, old consoles, stacks of them, PS1s galore, um, a few PS2s, and Xboxes everywhere. Some of them were about what you'd expect to see them selling for in, say, Game Station, you know, they were 20, 25 quid, something like that. But I just happened to walk past this one, just as they were pricing it down, they'd, they'd had it selling for £15 for the whole morning, and obviously it hadn't sold for whatever reason, and the, the woman on the stall was just scrubbing out the price and putting £10 on it. So I thought, yes, I think I'll have that. So, uh, yes, definitely gone over to the dark side. I swore I would never get one of them. I still swear I will never, ever get a 360. I just think when I've got an Atari that's 30 years old and works perfectly, and Microsoft can't, Microsoft can't produce a console that will last six months, there is no way in hell I will ever buy one of those. Um... But anyway, yes, I bought a couple of games with this. I've got some uh, uh, the Williams Midway compilation doofer and Project Gotham 2. <laughs> I was gutted because the, the Project Gotham 2 disc doesn't work. It's it's scratched and the Xbox just says, nah, your disc is buggered. In not so many words. But uh, I should probably nip out to... Uh, if I'm impatient, which I usually am, I shall go and have a look in Game Station. And if they haven't got anything at a sensible price, well, they've got them on eBay and Amazon for like dirt cheap. So. But do I want to wait two days for it to arrive? I am impatient. Yes, so uh, thank you, Mark. It's all your fault. You have turned me to the dark side. <laughs> the rest of you, if you're remotely, if you don't know what Project Gotham looks like and Project Gotham 2, Go look, Mark Vergeer, Vergeer, how do you pronounce that? I don't know. I'll, I'll put up a caption or something.
uh, he's got these two videos and they're great highly recommended viewing I'll shut up now because I'm going to go and play some games thank you for watching